uh, Elzu. Scored over 100 goals now in beach soccer. Achieved that feat with four goals on the first night here of the tournament. So a beach soccer, don't expect it to stay that scoreline for too long. We average about nine goals a game here. If you're not familiar with the rules, let me give you a quick rundown. We play three thirds of 12 minutes each. Free-flowing game, all free kicks are directed unopposed. And the area is marked with the yellow flags for the edge of the goalkeeper's area. He can catch the ball anywhere he likes, from touchline to touchline. Halfway line, as you can imagine, is marked with the red lines. And then the blue tapes, they mark the touchlines and the goal lines at each end. A referee, very experienced in beach soccer, on his way to the Beach World Cup as well. to kick off. Pobitini scored a hat-trick. Looking to add to that with his early shot. Straight to the goalkeeper. It was grateful. It went straight at him rather than side to side. That's an open goal for Russia. Wachowski to share duties. Touches it inside, and then, well, some people having their dinner on the hotel side might be disturbed with that shot. It's gone into the water behind the goal. You know, so. Decent effort, time, first goal! First blood to Japan, and it comes from a lady source. The goalkeeper, he just saw a gap, he saw his opposite number a little bit off his line. Thought, I'll go for it. Boy, was that the right decision. Russians were very slow to close him. It's paid up for Japan. Russia nil, Japan one. We've got an instant reply, Shakiri, Makarov, stand by the ball. Makarov. Shakiri. Just waits and waits. Then makes the move outside of him. Teases his opponent. Eventually he goes wide. Poor shot. Poor pass, I should say. The shot down the other end was not much better either. Back it off. Off the goalkeeper. Already Russia have four lined up on a touchline. Big tactic in beach soccer. It's basically to put four players on, four players off, just to pressure things up and keep the intensity up especially in the first few minutes. As I said, I think the chair probably not happy with that score, right? So maybe that's why we get the change. No. opposite number. He do the same now to the Japanese goalkeeper. Thinks about it, he goes wide, crash with the shots. Side footed rather than really striking through the ball. Nozo encourages concentration from his teammates. With the near post corner. Probably a teeny popped up at the far post. He can't. Any control on his shot. Okay. So just to reiterate, this is winner takes all in this game. 
Whoever wins, be it normal, extra, or on penalties, will go through to the semi final. Dash. Control takes it back towards his goalkeeper. The second touch gives it to his goalkeeper. Crash. Shish him with the shot. One foul given. And Japan in Dreamland! Second goal. And once again, they look like they were in control, Russia. And from one end to the other, Japan broke. It was two against one for a second, but that didn't matter. Yamuchi only had one thought on his mind, and that was the back of the net. Russia nil, Japan two. Routini. Crash. Got space, time. Well, he caught it sweetly, but just couldn't get the direction on it he needed. Pre-match we were speaking, we weren't expecting this. Of course, a long, long way to go. Beat soccer averages about nine goals a game. In this tournament, Spain scoring 10. Team scoring nine in matches, so there's plenty of goals left in this game. Japan sitting deep, matching their opponents on the break. It's working so far, Makarov. Frustrating Russia. Just sitting in that block in front of their goalkeeper when they're out of possession, Japan. It's difficult for Russia to break them down. Oba. It's wide. That's enough. What do you think about the shots? Quite yet. Quick Japan will be able to defend. There's the shot on the header. Well, for Japan, disappointment. Maybe they should have closed there, not allow the keeper so much time to play his shots. Come cross, come pass. Semskop providing a finishing touch. Russia are back in this game. Russia won. Japan two. by two red shirts. Shakiri. to Shakiri. Yeah, loops the ball to the far side. Makov has to go back towards his goalkeeper. Okay. Slightly disjointed from Russia, not what we expect. points in the first period. Too many chances. Crash. Points. Can form up again. A compact shape in front of goal. Players standing side on ready to dart forward or go back as needed. It's demonstrated perfectly there, right on cue. Chance now for Russia to scruffy goal, but as they say, they all count. And Cash finds the back of the net. It won't be the most spectacular goal of his career. But it all started there. Ozu trying to do too much, really, in that central area. If you don't want to do that, you need to be further up the pitch. 
or in a wider area. Gives away the ball. Three flick sets it by Russia. Russia two, Japan two. Tide has turned. The momentum is now with the team in red shirts rather than the team in blue. Well, you can see one defensive error, maybe a little bit hesitant in defence for the first goal when he should have closed the goalkeeper. Japan straight back immediately, good save. Most obvious of kickoffs, really, but sometimes obvious is the best thing. Ginoza collects. Ozu again. He's hanging on to possession in that central area in front of goal. And they've worked that out, Russia, quite quickly. Second time he's been caught. He got away with it that time. But he needs to think of something new and he needs to think quickly. The difference for the Russian team. Uh, Japan is the level of the opponents they play. Watch that overhead kick from Makarov again. Championship with the likes of Oman, UAE, and Iran that are really competitive. All teams make way for want of a better phrase, really. And Russia, when they play A Division beach soccer, the EBSL, they're playing the likes of Italy, Spain, Belarus, all very good beach soccer sides. Gives them that little edge. Bettini goes on the outside. Cleverly worked free kick. Sadly, the divot in the sand. Did for Bettini going through on goal. That's a new move you see in beach soccer. But I've not seen that for a couple of games now, but it's only really come into the game in the last year or so. Player swinging right, behind the player taking a free kick. The ball to be moved on to. Before that, it was a straight up shot. There was no variation on it. One team does it. One follows. Shin Shin. Can't get a shot on target. Probably had a bit more time than he knew there. Mucci, goal scorer for Japan. Played it back to his goalkeeper. Who is another goal scorer. Shin Shin. Bettini back to his goalkeeper. Sitting deep, Japan, very tight defensive unit. Crash with a shot just wide. Well, the only joy they're going to get really, the Russians, when they're playing for their goalkeeper, is if they go to wide areas first because Japan sit so tight inside of the posts. Very difficult to break down. Two players moving from out to in. Doing. So does really well with the pass. Romanov plays up at the back. Corner to Japan. Suo takes it. To change it with Ozu, but Russia clean up. Bettini just didn't drop the right side for him. He just get a turn the shot and so wide it goes out for the throw in. Head it back to his goalkeeper. Confidently done. Shish in. There's a strike, it's just wide. Oh, that sweetly. Not be too straight, he needed to cut across it a touch. Still wait the goalkeeper. That's a little shot, maybe. At some point, as he scored. At this moment, Japan have forced the corner. Two will take it. It's a throw in, in fact. 
Same with Frank though from that distance. Two to the far post. Seen acrobatically away. He had to do that. He made it look good at the same time. Nice tactic Japan have got, playing it into Ozu, the goalkeeper, and he plays it back. Exact straight line pass, not ideal in any form of the game. Being caught almost with it twice. Tsuo stays in there, which again will be a straight line pass. Tsuo now waits in the centre, picks the ball up. Triangle being played by Japan down the right hand side. Oh. The final corner of the triangle wasn't there. Push it, going more for straight lines and breaking quickly. Crash it was with that effort. Went over the top. Five goals overall in the tournament. It's a good turn, it's a good shot. Matsuo, well, almost defensive work he did there. Tried to make the flick, then he just put it past the goalkeeper, but ended up blocking it. That's enough. It's a free kick. His choice will be one of three here. He either rolls it down either side of the funnel of players, you'll see. Hopes one of his teammates will get on the end of it. He goes for the full on blast in the air, almost goal kick style, to try and work his opposite number, or tries to bounce it in front of the goalkeeper, preferably around about two or three metres from him. Used the divot to score well. He's gone for the tiny touch to the side. Used his teammates, option one. <laughs> Notice the beach stopping last year, so teams are more careful with their free kicks. the straight out shot all the time. Oh, that's a finish. Where he could see from the position I was in. There was only one place that was going. And that's the back of the net. Brilliantly done. It's the one touch, it's the overhead kick. Okiyama executes it perfectly. Well, in beach soccer, it is ideal if the ball comes into you. It's one touch, then it's the overhead kick. And if you do it quickly enough, that's the result. Russia 2, Japan 3. Shishin. Crash. It's a good shot. Keeper so slightly wobbly there, but the end also. It's the old adage of when in doubt, kick it out. Okay, it's Dolphy the Dolphin on the far tower where the floodlights are. It's the mascot here at the Maynot World Beach Games. A dolphin with legs. The play beach soccer. So, end of the period. Well, for Japan, they started off so, so well. Two goals up inside the first few minutes. Russia managed to claw it back to two all. We finished the first period with Japan in the lead.
takes all, goes through to the semi-finals here at the Enoch World Let's Beach go. Games. Scoreline sees Japan lead by the tightest of margins. Japan kick off. Maki. And again, side netting. Japan have an older squad here. Maki just shot there, 37. Tabata, who's 40 in the team as well. All the players are not goalkeepers. It's slightly unusual. We've got Mao Brazil, who's 42 in this tournament. Good, on. It's a good block. Michael Mackey. Fitness will be an issue for either of these two teams. Rugby tackle, not doing beach rugby here. And the yellow card, no surprise really. First yellow card for Russia in the entire tournament. Zinkov takes the honour. Beauty for him is after this game it's white semi finals. Back to zero yellow cards. Two yellow cards, by the way, you are suspended for the next game. Red suspended for the next game as well. Central. I mentioned before, there's well, I'd take two options in this case. Sometimes we say three. You try and bounce it in front of the goalkeeper to put him off, and maybe use the divot to take it into the goal, or you just go straight out power. It's bordering on being too far for power, depending on how confident the player is, how much power he's got, obviously. You get that bounce in front of the goalkeeper, anything can happen. Suda shakes off, gets himself set. It's the shot, and he looks for the bounce. The goalkeeper steps off his line and smothers the ball. Oh, and it's gone straight down the other end. Disaster for Japan. Rice smile from the goalkeeper. Probably a team eventually gets the touch. There's the save. Probably a team with a shot from his own half, and then... Well, I don't really want to describe that. Fear of upsetting the goalkeeper's family, you saw what happened. Biotini has not scored a more fortunate goal in his career than that one. Ginoza will not want to see the replay of that. Just a lack of concentration, wasn't it? Kind of watching the free kick from one end to the other, thinks I'll have a breather and next second, ball's travelling through his legs.
Thanks, Mark. Thank you by Bob Lutini. Now this will affect his confidence now. Good throw. Scored in this game. A little fakes, a little going wide. It's confident, Benny by check it in. Staying with the same goalkeeper this period. Goal score is back on. He's trotting forward with those big long legs faster than most. Very little beach soccer like in his build, but it works. He's got a few World Cup medals to prove that. Magician. To the side foot, so it wasn't as powerful as it could have been. Genoza. Chances by the goalkeeper. Straight back where it came from. <laughs> Build up play is not <laughs> from Japan. They go for short passes, then I'm reaching past the halfway line and then straight back in a long throw. It's predictable. Have a corner. Has to do something here now. It was a bit different, it didn't work. Tiny little near post corner. Elzu goes for handball. It's the record goal scorer, not given. Shishin puts it up at the back. Team will be desperate for the gold medal here. They lost the final of the Euro Beach Soccer League against Portugal. Didn't qualify for this tournament, believe it or not. Oh, well. Is it in? It is in. Glum faces on the Japanese defenders and goalkeeper. As we look here, still none the wiser. To assume that we got it right, we certainly shall. But he don't have a line. He beats Socket. When it's that far over the imaginary line, you definitely don't need one. Russia four, Japan three. As he waits. Wait. wait. Finally, we get on the way. Perfectly time sound effect. Like the corner it is to Japan. Oh, yeah. kick for Russia. Oh, yeah. be fresh on the sand, gets to take it. Big beach soccer is in Russia. Vladimir Putin met the team and they were victorious at the World Cup. Twice over. Players are well known now. Sport is well known. They held the club Monday Elite, which is the World Championship of Clubs. It was in February in Russia. You're probably scratching your head saying, How? Well, it was indoors. Mega Sports Arena. It was filled with sand. And away we went. It was an experience. Warm inside and minus 15 outside. He's got the right foot, controls him with the left. The cuff. Main 
danger over for Japan. Out to the area, did Yeah, that's now. Get off. Switches for the gap. Isn't there for him. There's no balls with you need. Shot away. About to make the four man substitution. Check it in. So that'll be the difference as this game wears on. That third period. You can switch in four players and four players and keep it fresh. The Japan have got that luxury of a depth of squad that can do that. Russia's players are relatively young. All at relatively the same level. That's where their strength lies. They don't have one or two superstars. You have to pick your best Russian players. Very difficult. So slightly different qualities. The unit, very, very strong. Like the only team to beat Brazil in the last two years. Do that again. This tournament, brand new tournament. You know, World Beach Games. Which is many sports, not just beach soccer. Or as you can imagine, beach related. Some of them not so tenuous links, but they're here. Three on three basketball on a court next to the beach. Skateboarding, not on the beach, next to the beach. Well, the referee thought about it and eventually gives it. You cannot infringe a player when he's going for the overhead kick. Chaplin looks disgusted. The penalty has been given. Well, I think there's little doubt there. Kiyama was double teamed. So, penalty to Japan. Chance for them to level once more. Chance for this man to score his second goal of the day. Gonna hook the referee for a second then. So you can tell how nervous the player is, by the way. You look at how long they spend setting up the sand before they have their shot. I'd say, on the scale of what I've seen beach soccer players do, that's a, that's a medium. Not too nervous. Oh, he certainly wasn't. Looked one way, placed it the other. He's shaped in here as though he's going across the goalkeeper. Open out his foot at the end and into the corner. Japan at level. And a relief on his face, you can tell. Okiyama with his second goal. Japan's fourth of the day. Russia four, Japan four. Makarov and Shishin wait. Rare ball control from him. That's enough. Rash, the master of sport, as is Shishin. I can like describe it. Government award and an OBE of sport. Are you British? An OBE. Palace type thing. Yeah, a digging tree to pin on the badge. Every country has them. Crash. Crash in. Turn it shot. Is in the old fashioned phrase, was he turned on a sixpence? Basically means he turns in a very tight space. Bittini. Quite happy to slow things down. Fish in. Stays back as he shoots, so it goes over the bar.
teammates. Interesting style of movement from Japan. Teenie. Got an ounce and it's just woken up. Both sets of fans here, there's Russian fans dotted across the stadium. Those Japanese ones. Very pensive at the moment. Makarov has the overhead. It's wide. And just going for that long ball again. Seems to be when they play short Japan, they can't move the ball forward quickly. And the longer ball is their option. As you should concentration. I think wasteful situation. Be applied on your opponents. Your own half. Kick it to Russia. Novikov. Two pitches adjacent to each other here at the World Beach Games. I'm sure you can hear the announcer for the next pitch. Announcer goal there. He's been doing that for six hours solid now. Novikov. Oh, it's a very good save. Oh, that motor makes up for the mistake he made before. His right hand side, a good strong hand. So easy to let it slip past you in that situation. Okay. Good play from Russia to work the corner, get the advantage. All right. Still the time right now. We are tied all four. Take a look at Kima. Kaguma waits. <laughs> Goalkeeper, move the ball between themselves. Good old. Sam, Sam. Shots. Oh, and the finish. Well, he just dropped his shot one way, went the other, found the gap, and struck right through the ball. No chance for the goalkeeper. It was just that slow to quick, and then the shot before any defender could get blocking. So it's nip and tuck once again. Russia five, Japan four. Goal for Makarov in the tournament. Oh, oh, yes. Over. Now scored a goal in the tournament, but don't have two shots like that. Crash. Just goalkeeper. Inside the final two minutes of this period. Looking for the edge in this game. The places you look maybe are, I hate to say, but the age of the Japanese team, the depth of their squad, in terms of being able to rotate players on and off. Russia definitely do have the advantage there. In terms of discipline and organisation, both very similar. Crash, just outside of his left foot, so the shot is well wide. Oh. 
goalkeeper. Fishing again. Well, it's very warm here, about 29 degrees Celsius, but I think that had snow on it by the time it came down. Spinoza. Screen for the Japanese fans there. And also a screen for Pobitini. Well, we all know how painful it is when you stub your toe. But that looked painful. Rule is, the foul is given. He has to take the free kick unless he's injured. Then he goes off. The replacement can take it. As he stands, though, I think. Like anyone who subs their tilt, they'll hop around for a bit and forget about it. Young man in the tournament. Everybody, he's arranged to shoot here. player just to get on with it, he doesn't fuss too much about his run up and battening the sand out completely before he gets to the ball. Brief sweep around the ball and he's set. Routini. Well, they have the power, just not the direction. Well, that should be the final action of the period, it certainly is. Ruchi's wayward overhead kick signals the end of the second period. So at the end of the second period, it is Russia five, Japan four.
with a beach ball during the break. Hopefully we'll have some fun with a beach soccer ball for the next 12 minutes. Well, I tell you, we'll have fun. It's whoever wins here tonight. The winner takes all. The ABBA game. The winner takes all. Whoever wins today goes through to the semi-finals. At the moment, Russia have the slight advantage, 5-4. Now, we average nine goals in a beach soccer game. We've matched that right now. I guarantee, oh, and I can't guarantee anything in life. But for this one, maybe we can change that because I guarantee there will be goals in this period. Where do we come from? I can't tell you that. We should get that first shot here. The kick off crash. Stretching for it, we can't get a shot away. Shishin can. I think if somebody took a photo of that one. No connection to the ball. I should say this. What a thing's certain in life. That's death and taxes. Well, we're in Qatar, so we don't do taxes. But we guarantee there'll be some goals in this beach soccer match before we finish today. Which you guarantee from me. That's not. Goal scoring exploits. The one goals now for Japan. And it's a share for that two nights ago when he broke the record. It's going four. So he has an off, he stays in goal. Goalkeeper for Japan, Terakina. Three players. Terakina, a wedding gloves, old school. A pair of sweatbands on, proper old school. Great turn, that's for Japan. Oh, it should have been a shot rather than a cross, or maybe it was a shot that went wayward. We am disappointed. Crash, good save. Well, who needs gloves? with a hotel background, hence the no gloves. There's some transfer between the two sports, believe it or not. It's counterintuitive, is one is on the floor for 90% of the time, and one is in the air for 90% of the time, but it transferred very, very well. Finishing with the cross, the Romanov with the overhead kick. Gets the ball now. The overhead, two with it. Bounce takes it wide rather than goalward. Maybe it's on the sand play. Such a big part in beach soccer, it is an established technique. The overhead kick to try and bounce it in front of the goalkeeper. Uh, unexpected factor. Kina. Silly there, Shishin. Romanov. Well, the goalkeeper made up for his error. Shishin. Tabata does. They're on the pitch now, 40 years of age.
Ronaldo. Back it off. Two or three touches before he goes back to his goalkeeper. For Russia, consistent team goal. Teams do switch up their goalkeepers. They do have two very good goalkeepers. Trotsky is the other keeper, but doesn't get the nod tonight. No, just waits. Hopes the Japanese player will close him down. Russia chance to outnumber their opponents. Stay fairly deep, Japan. Face Matsuda. It's okay to carry on. That's enough. Because these two teams both qualify for the World Cup. We'll meet later on this year in Paraguay. Beach soccer. Goalkeeper does well, gets away with it. You choose which one. Delete is appropriate. See, goalkeeper's doing that often. is not something you try and hang on to in beach soccer. Maybe you'd be a little patient with your approach play, but you cannot sit on a lead like that. Three goals scored in uh, 60 seconds of a game. Well, this is interesting. But... <laughs> Probably a team he felt that one. He's back up. If this was a cartoon, there'd be Tweety Birds flying around his head right now. Dash. Back heel away. No sensible option. The ball goes well over the top. Well, Dash is down. As I mentioned there, if it was a cartoon, there'd be Tweety, Pie. Tweety Birds going around Probably a teeny's head. Headed that ball away. Maybe crashes also. But Ramos Roy, the coach of Japan, played in J League, very famous over there, and was included once in a cartoon that featured on television. So he's got his own cartoon character. I'm sure if you sat there now, maybe supporting a club that's not been successful for a while, you think I probably had a cartoon character or two as manager of our club, mainly Mickey Mouse. Well, Japan have a cartoon character as their coach, in a good way. If it was Superman right now, do you count as a cartoon character? Fancy another dig right now. Sheffield was aware of that, closed him very quickly. Relatively quiet in this game. 
fine leap. Direction wasn't there on the header. Yama acknowledges the, the pass. two teams. Russia for all intents and purposes, their players are all professionals. That's more a labour of luck. Oh, there's a chance on the finish. Well, it was the perfectly worked goal for beach soccer, the dying up ball wide. The header across the box. There's delight on those Japanese fans' faces right now. It's the simplest of beach soccer goals, one end to the other. It's the complete sucker punch. Atsuo with the finish. So, so often we see that in beach soccer. If the goalkeeper can get it forward quickly, and the player is facing towards the goalkeeper, then it means he can head the ball across the goal. And if there's someone at the far post, there is a finish available. And that's what just happened with Japan. Simple, effective. It means they're level. All to play for with two minutes 28 on the clock. Russia five, Japan five. If it does go to extra time, and play three minutes of that, then we go to penalties, which are three each, or sudden death if we need it after that. Everybody has to take them, even the players on the bench. Swap your goalkeeper if you want. In the penalty shootout. It's a long way off yet. There's diminishing rewards in beach soccer as well. Three points for a win normally. Shot from the goalkeeper sails wide. Two in extra time, one on penalties. But this it doesn't matter too much because both teams are on six points. Their nearest rivals be on three by the end of this game. At the end of their game on the Joseph pitch. Crash back to his goalkeeper. Crash again, he's got a little bit of space and time. Sat to his left and wanted it on his right. Crash again. Shin back. Other times, Crash would have been tempted to have a swing early with both of those chances, but he didn't then. Just to keep hold of possession. Spanish player, winner of two World Cups. Awarded Master of Sport in Russia. Doesn't matter what you've done, at the moment you can still be nervous. So, oh, that could have been the moment. Russia. 8.7 seconds. Is that going to be vital? A point seven. Let's see. Well, Japan are quite happy to go to extra time here. Tabata. Get the ball in. We should have 20 seconds to do something. Up. Up the goalkeeper had dropped into his line. It's going to be a shot right now. Anything's going to happen. Back it up. Well, the Hooter brings to an end a very tight game between two sides that don't meet very often. It's very difficult to decide who's going to be making their way to the semi-final. Who is going to call this one? 
three minutes of extra time. If that doesn't do the trick, we go to penalties. Kalikachev, a very superstitious Russian coach. Very nervous as well. I suppose it goes hand in hand. If you believe in superstitions, then you like to be a, of a nervous disposition. As you see, as anything at all will affect your team's performance. So he's pacing up and down on the touchline. It's like an expectant father. Never knows what he was like when his kids were born. Seen him down there, he just... I'm always fascinated any time I cover a Russia game with his antics on the touchline. He lives and breathes every single second. Ozu with the shot. It's himself the second prize of a corner. Two. Well. On to it, which was really important. Back it off. Cheeky belt shoulder touch. How do we get the volley? We don't. Turns inside. It's a good block. Players have that much energy so late in the game. Back it off. off for the shot, as you away. Goes for the overhead, and that normally wouldn't be a foul if he was just heading the ball, but you can't interfere with somebody going for the overhead kick. So I think that was a smart move. Get a free kick. There's an overhead kick in from the corner there. It's a blind pass, really. If you look, this free kick, you see the Russian player on the touchline on the far side there. Shakir, and that's to stop Japan. They usually have a player up. You often see a beach soccer. They run around the back of the free kick taken and go down the outside. Well, that avenue is cut off right now. Oh, Some pace on it, that shot. Wow. Build again from the back. Need to go for the quick ball forward. Idea was good, execution not so good. It wasn't that. Chance for Japan. Scaps defending there for Romanov. Good work from Japan there. Trusted their goalkeeper. A little bit of confidence in the Japanese players now. To the final minute. Despite the fact that Japan are going to the World Cup, a highly ranked team, essentially everybody thought Russia would win this quite easily. Third ranked team in the world. Behind Brazil and Russia. Not behind themselves, of course, but behind Portugal. Brazil. Well, Shakirin. A chance to save base here for the Russians. The strike at the bounce. Goalkeeper follows it all the way. He's quickly off his line. Well, got to admire Japan there. Go back to cover the line. Goalkeeper was out. Very quickly after his initial save. Oh, well. Those who says no. The referee says yes. Maybe yellow card issued here. I'd be tempted to say it could be a red, 
if it was more central. Bettini, if you do get sent off with beach soccer, it means, well, in this case, with 39 seconds left, you play two minutes with four players or until your opponent score. It's irrelevant at the moment. Is it a yellow card? I think we need the music to build attention. It's all around us on the sand. Good Mikhail Likachov there, bottom moving picture. Crouch down. Head in hands. Seconds to play the ball, he'll be fully utilizing that. Them's cop, but he's sticking the corner. Also, he could get sent off here. Received the yellow. Just calm down now. with everybody, then shakes everybody's hand. Knows that. It's going to be big clearances from Russia if they get the chance. Get with the header. Should be it. It is it. Well, Russia have been run extremely close by Japan. Nobody expected that. He's the ball of coach, Mikhail Likachev. He can breathe a sigh of relief and looks slightly less nervous than he normally does. The Japan heartbreak. They were so, so close. But when they're playing one of the best teams in the world, it will give them hope for the World Cup upcoming. The Russia officially a scare. And they're complaining to the referee there. Pointless they've won. Bettini with the finish, it counted in extra time. For the record, it's two points for the win rather than three. They finish on eight points top of the group. Japan second with six points. Russia qualify for the semi-finals. Yeah. 